Joe Torre, and this is Baseball Talk. Today we'll talk baseball with Jeff Reardon. In 1981, a trade sent Jeff north of the border, and Canada became his land of opportunity. 1981, uh, September that year, it really wasn't until Jim Fanning took over for uh, Dick Williams. He called me in, he said, you're my stopper the rest of the way, and I went out and saved, I think, seven games in September, and it was the stopper since. In 1987, Jeff was traded to a Minnesota Twins team on the verge of making history. On September 28th, he saved the game that brought a division title to the Twin Cities. Oh, that was a great feeling, you know, everybody hopes for that. But last time I did that was back in 81 against the Mets with Montreal. I remember everyone jumping on me, and back in Texas, when everybody did it, you know, I was fortunate to be on the mound for, you know, all three clinchers, so I couldn't ask for anything more in one year. Jeff watched from the bullpen as Frank Viola brought his team to within three outs of a world championship. That's when the phone rang. I'd have to say that was the most nervous I ever was because Viola, you know, he was pitching a great game and I, I wasn't really sure if he was going to put me out there. Then the phone rang in the eighth inning and Frank wasn't even in trouble. He had retired like eight in a row and they said, you got the ninth inning. And I'd say it was compared to my first game coming up in the big leagues. That's how nervous I was. Nervous or not, Jeff got the last three outs and the celebration began. The guy Eddie fielded the ball and, you know, through to first base and I got mobbed so you don't have really that much time to think but it was just like a dream come true because that's everyone's goal is to win a World Series and me being a relief pitcher that, that's definitely the main goal of a reliever to get the last out of the World Series so I, mean, I was in seventh heaven at that time. Jeff Reardon would not be deterred from reaching his goal of pitching in the big leagues and neither should you. Never give up. I, I wasn't even drafted out of college and luckily the Mets, some Mets scout noticed me, Len Zanke and you know, and I, I was always bitter that I never got drafted and never received any type of bonus. And I felt I worked pretty hard, and that's the main thing I'd have to say to kids is, you know, never give up. For Baseball Talk, I'm Joe Torrey.